So firstly, I'm just going to be taking the simple cleansing lotion, applying it to a cotton pad and then applying it all over the face. Again, I'm just going to take the simple facial toner, apply it to a cotton pad and all over the face. Next, I'm just going to be taking the Pixie Glow Tonic Water and applying that with the cotton pad again on the face. If you do have any skincare tips, please leave them in the comments below. My skin is awful at the minute and is driving me up the wall. I can never seem to get rid of my spots or anything like that. I'm now taking the Nivea Moisturising Cream, just applying that all over the face, just to give the face some moisture. Now I'm just going to apply the Wet n Wild Face Primer in Matte, just gently applying it all over the face, just before obviously the makeup does go on. Many of you have probably seen this around on TikTok, but since I've started using it, I swear the base of my makeup is just amazing. So I'm taking the Shell Loose Powder W7 and just applying it all over the face, just a thin layer, just before I apply my foundation on top. I'm now just taking the Wet n Wild foundation. This is the dewy one in shade Golden Beige. I'm not a makeup artist, so please don't come at me with matching foundation to my face because I really don't have a clue on where to start. I'm just going to be applying this with a flat head brush. These brushes are just off eBay. They're not any fancy makeup or anything. Like I say, I don't know where to start with makeup. I just apply whatever, wherever, if it suits my face. I'm just going to be blending that in with a real technique, real technique beauty blender just to make sure it's all blended in, in the skin. The concealer I'm going to be using is the Wet n Wild Concealer Corrector. This is a just, ooh, I can't even speak. This is just in shade Light Ivory. I'm just going to be applying this, obviously, the highlighted areas, just to try and lift my face up a bit. Again, just going in with the Real Technique Beauty Blender, just to blend that all in. I'm just taking the Revolution Baking Powder in shade Banana and just obviously baking my face with this. I don't think it's the right colour but I hope it does work. Next I just go in with the W7 Shallows Powder again and just set my face with this. So for bronzing I am just going in with Beauty Bay's own brand in the shade Beach just to give my face a bit of a warm tone colour. I do go in with the doll Gimme Sun, I think that's how you say it. Doll Beauty Gimme Sun bronzer in the shade light, just to darken it up a little bit, give me face a bit more of a defined darker colour.
Again, I'm just baking the face a little bit with the Revolution baking powder and shape banana, just cutting underneath that contour for more definition. I really don't have a clue what I'm talking about, so bear with me. <laughs> Blusha is my favourite part of the whole makeup routine. I am just going in with the Blush by 3 palette. Um, it is just a sleek, I've had this for years, I'm not going to lie. I do go quite a bit wild with it. I do know it can leave your face quite easily and does come off during the day. In your face up, I'm going to be taking the Doll Beauty highlighter and shade shine bright applying this to the highlighted areas under my eyebrows cheeks a little bit on the nose and just the chin and i do apply a little bit above the eyebrows For setting spray, I am just using the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I swear by this stuff, I, abs I absolutely love it since I bought it. I can't get enough of it. The lip liner I'm using is from Kiko in shade 531. I don't only go for dark shades, but recently like, I've been loving a dark lip instead of a light nude so yes i do overline my lips because i really don't have a top lip at all so we'll just have to make that bitch bigger the lipstick i'm using is actually from primark and um, the matte i don't actually know what color it is um but it's a very dark chocolate color I absolutely love, love, love Primark lipsticks. I literally don't use anything else other than Primark lipsticks. I just think they're so affordable, they're so cheap, and they're just a really nice lipstick to apply. So for my eyelashes, I don't actually like applying eyelashes. I do normally get them done, but obviously with it with the being like them, it's very hard to. So I do just go in with the clear mascara, and this is just from Superdrug. It doesn't really do anything, I just like applying it for some sort of reason. So yeah, this is the end of my video, I really hope you enjoy. Please subscribe if you haven't and like and comment, it would mean so much. I hope you enjoy and I love you all.